adding an extra sheet to an Excel workbook is a pretty easy task. But if you have 50 sheets to add, or maybe 100, you definitely need a macro for that. In this session, I will show you how to add multiple sheets in an Excel workbook using VBA and how to control the names of these newly added sheets. This is our workbook and we are going to add a new sheet here using VBA. Go to VBA editor, insert a module. I will name this macro as add sheet example 1. For adding a new sheet, sheets dot add. Go back to the workbook, macros, add sheet, example is our macro, run. And you can see a new sheet is added. And now for adding multiple sheets, you have to change the code. I will copy this code, to the module, rename the macros, add sheet, example 2. Here I will change code, sheets dot add bracket and now we can see the syntax for this add method before after count type and these parameters are optional before now after and count here we have to specify the number of sheets to be added so i will go with 10 close the bracket go back to the workbook execute the macro add sheet example 2 so you can see 10 sheets are added. By introducing a loop, we can have more control over the number of sheets to be added. So I will show you how to do that. Go to the VB editor, insert a module. I will name the new macro as add sheet example 3. I will declare two variables here, i and j. Then i equal val. I will use an input box to receive the value that is the number of sheets to be added so enter the number of sheets to be added for loop for j equal 1 to i sheets dot add next j Go back to the workbook. So I will delete these sheets here. Let's execute the macro. Add sheet example 3. Run. Here we have to enter the number of sheets to be added. So I will go for 7. And you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sheets are added. And the beauty of this method is we can control the names of these newly added sheets. Go to the VP editor. I'll copy this code. Sample 4. And for controlling the name of the sheet, we have to make changes here. Dot name equal double quotes Excel and care J. Now go back to the workbook. Execute the macro. Add sheet example 4. Run. Now I want to add 5 new sheets here, so 5, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sheets and every sheet has this name called Excel and Care. And if you have a set of names that are entirely different and you want to name your sheets accordingly, you should go for a do until loop. I will show you how, I am deleting all these sheets. We will name this sheet as names. So these are the set of names which I have. Salon Cat, Jalasri, LRP, VBA Tutorial. Go to the VBA Editor. Insert a module. So we add sheet example 5. Here I will declare a variable, declare in memory i as integer, then range a1 to select. This a1 is selected as 
our names start from this cell a1 then do until active cell dot value equal null sheets dot add dot name equal active cell dot value now sheets names dot select then active cell dot offset one comma zero dot select you have to close the loop and here you can see range a1 will be selected that is range a1 is cell a1 then we have a loop here and the statements inside the loop are sheet is to be added and the name of the sheet should be the value in active cell that is excel and get first sheet will be named as excel and get then sheets names dot select after adding the sheet control will come back to this sheet called names then again active cell offset one comma zero dot select the control will go to cell A2 and again sheet will be added and the name will be the value in the active cell that is ZS3. So let's execute the macro and see how it works. Macros add sheet example 5 run and you can see 4 sheets are added and the name of the sheets are Excel and CAD, ZS3, Alapi, PBA tutorial. And if you have 50 names here, 50 sheets will be added and the sheets will be named accordingly. I hope you are not clear with the concept of adding multiple sheets in an Excel workbook. The same method can be used for adding Excel charts. And if you have any doubt regarding the same, you can always reach me and I will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.